This is a 13 weather impact alert. Good morning, West Michigan. I'm Julie Coherent and I'm Tanner Holbrook. Thank you so much for waking up with us this morning and watching on 13 plus. Of course, a very hectic news weekend with the news about the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. Of course, we're going to get to that here in just a few moments. But first, we have multiple reports of flooding across West Michigan. Some areas, Sam, are seeing upwards of 10 inches of rain. Yes, yeah, Sam, this is a lot of rain. So what can people expect the rest of the day? Yeah, and that's 10 inches of flood water, right? That resided on some of the roadways we've seen anywhere from around two to four inches of rainfall, but sometimes that can back things up and cause 10 inches of residual water on those roads. And again, it only took takes a foot of water to completely submerge and move a car off a roadway, which is something that we saw earlier this morning. It only takes six inches of standing water to sweep you off your feet. This morning, we are still continuing to see widespread showers. As you can see, it was a very active overnight, severe thunderstorm warnings that went off as well as that heavy soaking rain. Still seeing clusters of heavy showers hours that are moving very, very slowly. We're talking 15 to 25 miles per hour off to the east, which is why we are continuing on with flood alerts across the region. In fact, the National Weather Service saw enough reports come in between 2 to 3 a.m. that they issued a flood warning for portions of Kent County. The areas that were hit the hardest stretch from Comstock Park over through Walker and down through the Kentwood area. But these flood alerts do extend all the way down to the lakeshore stretching through Holland. Now we will continue to see flooding impacts between now and around 830 this morning, which is why we have issued a 13 weather impact alert because of those flooding impacts for this morning and also because of the severe weather that's possible later on tonight. The biggest thing that you need to be mindful of is caution while driving hydroplaning, of course, being a concern this morning, as well as again, some of those flooded roadways, even near the uh, rivers and stuff. We're seeing some of the banks that are overflowing. Now, once we hit 9 a.m., we'll be underneath cloudy skies, but it stops raining and it stops storming out. Then we see increasing amounts of sunshine throughout the day as our temperatures climb their way to about 85 degrees. This will once again destabilize our atmosphere and bring us into our next chance for the possibility of severe weather, which moves through 9 p.m. tonight until 2 a.m. And we have another weather impact alert for that system that's moving through. More details to come on that in my full forecast. Thank you, Sam. And as you mentioned, this rainfall causing flooding in Kent County. That's exactly where we find meteorologist Blake Hansen out this morning. Blake, you are live. What are you seeing this morning? Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, currently at the uh, intersection of 28th Street and Division, and just to the east of the intersection behind me is the underpass that was completely flooded uh, just a few hours ago. We're talking floodwaters uh, of several feet. Uh, our photographer Jeremy was here around 2.30 this morning, and there were several cars completely uh, covered with water up at least to halfway up the door of these mid-range SUVs. Now, the good news is the torrential rain has somewhat come to end while it's still raining right now. It's generally on the lighter side. We have seen the floodwaters recede rather quickly to the point where this uh, roadway is now reopened the underpass at least is and cars are making their way through uh, just fine but you can see it's hard to see right now because it's still uh, dark outside but some of the uh, debris from the uh, shoulder of the road uh, where that flood water was coming upwards almost to the intersection itself or right here at the Beltline bar uh, but overall uh, a lot of rain fell in just a short period of time and that did cause several feet of water uh, to be under this underpass and causing some of those uh, cars to be trapped. Now, good news, it seems like everyone was accounted for. Tow trucks came here around 3.30 to get the cars out of the way. And as mentioned, now this uh, roadway is completely uh, fine for people to make their way through. But again, just keep in mind, they're still ponding on the roadways. There's still hydroplaning concerns this morning as uh, it's still raining and at least for a few more hours. We'll have more coming up later this uh, morning for in Wyoming. Blake Hansen, 13 on your side. All right, Blake, thank you. And as we work to get you the latest on the weather this morning, you can follow along anytime with our 13 on your side weather app. You can get severe weather alerts, live radar and the latest forecast. By the way, this is free to download in your app store and on Google Play.